going on guys and welcome back to the Hungry Road. Today we are here in New Britain, Connecticut at House of Goats. Now that's a very powerful name. Goats, greatest of all time. But to have a house of all the goats, they all live here? Don't worry about it. So I got tagged a couple of times in this wing post. It's Sunday Funday, you see the mimosa. So yes, they have bottomless mimosas on Sundays from 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. 20 bucks. They have cranberry and orange juice. Get them as light or as dark as you want. But if you like dark mimosas, we're not friends. But this is a brand new location. It opened on July 8th. So we're here to check out a few of their wing flavors and some of their other brunch entrees. And let's see what they got going here. I'm very proud of them. They have, they have, they still have a waterberry location. So if you're on that side of the state, go check them out. But we're here in New Britain on my side of the state near civilization. Ha <laughs> ha. So let's see what they got here. It's a little very quaint. I wouldn't say intimate or small, because those are negative words. It's a very cozy atmosphere. A lot of natural light, good air, good aesthetics. You see the bar behind me right here. Nice little restaurant over there. A patio outside. So on Sundays, if you come for brunch and the weather's nice, you can get a hookah outside. I'm a huge fan of hookah. So that's, that's what brunch is about. Hookah, bottles of mimosas, and hang with your friends. Anyway, let's get to some food now. All right, guys, the first entree has showed up. Check this out. Such a beautiful presentation on a nice black slate right here. Salmon egg rolls. I've never seen salmon egg rolls on a menu before, so I had to try them out. Now, inside the salmon egg rolls are going to be a Farohe Island salmon, whatever that may mean. If you're a salmon aficionado, that might mean something to you. Whatever. Mac and cheese with the salmon. Very impressive. We have asparagus in here and a honey Cajun glaze. Let's put them down. I'm gonna grab one. Check it out. We're back. Check it out. Nice and clear picture right there. Crispy, very crispy egg roll on the outside. Let's go for it. Mmm. Get the out of here, bro. I need a minute. I taste that salmon, so clear, but it's not fishy. I taste the mac and cheese, it's very rounded. It kind of, it, it's a good partner to the salmon. It's, again, the shell is super crispy. The asparagus, I don't really taste, but I'm sure I'll smell later, you know what I mean? This is excellent. That glaze is delicious. Good crispy egg roll. Yo, this is excellent. I have the Philly cheesesteak egg rolls coming out later. I don't know if you can top this. One more bite. This is the first thing I had, guys. This is the first thing I've had. I do a bunch of drinking. This is tighten you up. Chili. This is our bartender. Her name is Lexi. She's back there somewhere. It's her favorite flavor. Let's check them out. A lot of the wings are going to come beautifully decorated, nice and stacked up. Nice little flower in for aesthetics. But let's give them a try. Wife is over there. We don't touch the drums. We can go with this flat right here, but I don't have a table. I'll put it over here. We have the flat right here. Now these feel super juicy, They're not extra crispy, well done, none of that BS, you know, good, high about a 7 on the weedy wing scale as far as the size is concerned, but they look amazing, let's give it a shot. First impression, excellent, crispiness, fried, I think these are marinated and then baked and then flash fried, you can kind of tell. The certain parts of the skin are crispy, but again, this is a sauce. Good sweetness, good honey, good base, good heartiness. When I think of sweet Thai, this is not what I think of, but it's good. A good overall flavor. 
We have six flavors of char so far. This is a good way to start. Yo, the salmon egg rolls are so crazy. We had to order the Philly cheesesteak egg rolls to see if they could be all done. You see them, same orientation. We got a sauce in the middle that the salmon egg rolls didn't have. So, Angus beef, roasted peppers, caramelized onion, aged cheddar cheese. I have no idea what this sauce is, but they wouldn't tell me secret stuff. So, we're gonna try one without the sauce. Oh, there's a toothpick that goes right through them. Be right back. Toothpick removed. I'm dropping lettuce. There was an excellent cheese pool you guys just missed. Whatever, but check it out. That looks absolutely incredible. Again, super crispy exterior of the egg, well, the egg paper. Mm. It just is so crispy. It falls up in your hand. This is excellent. Steak is seasoned well. It's not too salty. It's hearty. It's savory. Right, there's a little bit of onion there. A little salt, a little pepper. Again, I challenge you to get out here and try to describe a taste. It's impossible. This is good, it's hearty. This is filling though. I have six wing flavors to eat after this, but we have a sauce to try. Very tell what it is. Can be pork, can be but we cannot, we cannot blizzard test this sauce. We're gonna dip. You see it? Let's go for it. That's a Thousand Island spinoff. I taste that Thousand Island dressing. That French dressing mixed in there. Excellent compliment. I think I prefer without the Thousand Island. But again, look at all this meat you get in there. This is a great go. This is number two. This is the second thing I've had. And I haven't gotten the wings yet. And you can see the crispiness of the egg roll falling off. Yo, let's keep it going. All right, guys. Next up, we have peach habanero. You know I'm a fan of spicy wings. So when I see habanero on the menu, I tend to gravitate toward it. But they have a couple different habaneros on this menu. So peach habanero, check them out. Looking real good. Absolutely beautiful. That blue flower, let's spin it around for you. Excellent presentation. Let's go for it. All right, we got peach habanero right here. Again, it's a good feel in the hand. They're not overly done. They're not overly anything. But it looks absolutely amazing. Peach habanero. What am I expecting from this? I don't care. You don't care. You want to hear what it tastes like. Good smokiness up front. It's a, just, just a hint of sweetness. It's just a good ass wing. Like, I live nine minutes from here. I might be here. This is number, wing number two. And even sitting for a little bit, kind of filming or whatever, but like, these are an excellent wing. Hold on. That fruity flavor takes away some of the acidity. Adds a base, levels out the wing, it brings the wing up. It's, it's, it's impossible to explain. Again, I challenge you, describe taste to me. Peach, habanero, oh, they're not spicy. They're not spicy. All right, guys, continuing with the mango theme, we have mango habanero. Like you've heard in other videos, Buffalo Wild Wings, of all people, has set the staple of spiciness for what I think a habanero wing should be. And that's up there. So whenever I see a habanero on the menu, I'm thinking I'm gonna get some real heat. It's gonna wake me up. It's gonna help my digestive tract. Let's get the wing real quick and let's see what's shaking. All right, we got the wing right here. Check it out. It's a good looking wing. Nice and hefty. Again, it doesn't feel overly dry. It feels like it's perfectly cooked. Number one time, let's go for it. Definitely fruitier than the peach. It's delicious though. It's more fruity than spicy, but that's fine. It's a wing, you have brunch, you hear the music, we're dancing. You don't want to have your butt all burnt out from super spicy wings, but it's a good wing. Again, I cannot assess to how well they're cooked. 
They're not super crunchy and well done. They're juicy. They're filling. And it's got a good size to it. But yes, that mango is showing through very, very prominent. But it's not very... It's, it's not spicy at all. I don't see any habanero at all. All right, guys. Next up, we have bourbon barbecue. Another one of Lexi's favorite flavors. Again, beautiful. Wife has already been here. You see she took one already, but let's give it a shot. This is a wing. This is easy at nine or 10 on the Weavy Heat, uh, Weavy Wing score. Big, huge wing. You can kind of see the char. A little bit, you put your char on there. Don't get me started. You've already heard me talk for probably 20 minutes by now. Let's go for it. Bourbon barbecue. Rich, deep. Party flavor, just a tad sweet. Good garlic, good pepper, good cayenne in there. Just a hearty, overall good flavor. I went to a restaurant, I want a barbecue. This is what I want. A lot of barbecue is like overly sweet, but this isn't. It's more toned down. Maybe some cumin, sage in here, some, some earthy flavors. I like, keep this one going. This is really good. Okay, this is the fourth flavor, and I'm not backing down. These are excellent wings, guys. All right, guys, we got their blue cheese and their ranch. The ranch, I cannot blizzard test at all. We'll put that down for a second. The blue cheese, though, around the world with it. Y'all ready? See, that's, I'm, I'm smooth, I'm smooth with it. But let's get our finger in here, try it out. I can't put a wing in here, I'm too full. Jesus! That is sharp. You see my face? I need some water. That is sharp. Blue cheese. That is the blue, that may be the blue cheesiest blue cheese I've ever blue cheese in my blue cheese life. But it's good though. So now, I've been talking trash. I had to try it with a wing. We got a wing. We got this thick ass blue cheese. You see it. In my opinion, the blue cheese is a little too powerful for almost anything on that table. It's so sharp. This might be aged or something. It's nice though. I've never had. I'm not kidding you. I'm not kidding you. I'm gonna sit here and talk. This blue cheese is sharp. If you like me, you like blue cheese, you might like this. Just know, it's sharp. All right, y'all. We have the second to last flavor, the garlic, sorry, lemon, pepper, garlic, parmesan. That's a lot going on. So I'm expecting a good acidic reaction from the lemon. I'm gonna put garlic, Parmesan saltiness and deliciousness. Now, this is not a wet wing. This is a dry wing. So how can this restaurant handle a dry wing? Let's find out. All right, here it is. Looking absolutely amazing. Delicious. Pull it back. Them come forward so we can focus on it. You got to learn how to use your camera, guys. So this looks great. Let's go for it. So a few videos ago, you may have heard me mention how difficult it can be to have a garlic parmesan wing because garlic and parmesan don't have very in your face flavors you need is a good base this is done very well the lemon pepper pulls the acidity from the garlic and it it pops in your mouth pause it is delicious it's such a good wing I'm getting out so much flavor from these wings that I, I don't get from a usual dry garlic parmesan wing. Excellent. Excellent. House of Goats, I understand why this is your name. You, you, I'm, only, I'm only have wings and some egg rolls, but if you can do these things right, I'm sure you do everything else right. All right, y'all. Ranch. You thought I forgot about the ranch, didn't you? 
never forgot. This is super watery, but it looks buttermilky. Look how you, you can see the yellow in it. That's got a good, amazing garlic, creamy. Yo. See, I hate when this happens. When I've tasted something before, and I know what it is, but I can't bring it to the camera. It's buttermilk, crazy garlic, crazy garlic, good salt. This is actually really good ranch. Would I dip my wings in it though? Probably not, but would I dip my pizza? My pizza crust I put in this. This is delicious. And it, it's so watery. You can see the wateriness. And it's so flavorful. Like it's not a bunch of water in it. I like this. Last flavor in the outro coming up. What's up, man? So we're back. We're here with the owner. I'm gonna call him Spike Lee because he got the glasses, do the right thing glasses. But this is Paris. This is the owner of House of Ghost. So House of Ghost, you understand what gold is. Absolutely. So why did you choose to call your restaurant House of Goat? Well, listen, That's everybody always commitment. Knows, do you sell goat? No. It's a play on an acronym, uh, Goat, greatest of all time. We are a reflection of the people that come in here, the experience, the food obviously, and um, the music and the experience, the overall experience. It's, it's, that's what's so great about it. That's it. Period. So yes. So get down here. This is the New Britain location. They have a Waterbury location as well. That was on 23 Scoville Street, Waterbury, Connecticut, 06706. Do you? This is New Britain, Connecticut. This is New Britain. 586 West Main Street. Do you have any plans for more? Uh, Bristol. 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 Is it? Work. See, I'm new to Connecticut, so Bristol is like up. No, Bristol's further down. It's further down. Yeah. Okay. So you got New Britain, Waterbury, Waterbury, yep. New Britain. Perfect. Perfect. So anyway, if you get here between 12 and 4 on Sunday, you can bottomless mimosa like me. But the besides that, we have the towers. Those are available anytime, any day, if you got the juice. Alright? Now, the last flavor of wings. The goat flavor. Something you came up with? Or your chef? The chef. Chef Terry came up with that. All right, Chef, chef Terry. Terry. Let's see what he got. Thank you, Spike Lee slash... His, it's Paris. Don't call him Spike Lee. His name is Paris. Guys, I've been brunching. But we have one more flavor of wing left. We have the goat. Greatest of all time wing. That's a heavy claim. Y'all know how I feel about wings. Let's go for it. It's our thing, my man Spike Lee, aka Paris. He owns both locations. But we have a nice look with this one here. Nice, beautiful, beautiful. Buffalo, it's goat. The sauce is goat. This is the goat sauce. It's essentially a buffalo sauce, but they have their own tricks in here. Marinated for 24 hours, and you can see the sauce is under the skin. It's not just doused on top. That takes skill it takes preparation proper preparation prevents poor performance this different good salt good pepper good vinegar good butter good red hot I don't even want to say red hot because I know red hot is what buffalo is made of but this different. This is hard. This is a hard to describe to you. It's fantastic. And because it's under the skin, you don't have a consistency of watery flavor in the skin versus on top, underneath. These are excellent wings. I am not paid to say this. Because on the Hungry Road, we pay full price for our food and our drinks. Because that's what I want to do. I want to support local businesses. I want to jump in so bad. Come on, man. 
Polo. What's your name? Polo, Polo. This is Polo. How you like it? I'm, these are great. Did you make my wings? My order wings. This, you what? My order wings. My order wings? All the flavors. Can you, get, can you give us a secret? No. Is this, this no, no secret? I, how, how long do you marry them at least? No. Not 12 hours, not 16, 24? Polo, he's got his lips shut, and I get it. That's why. So the, so the ghost show us? They hear you. I hope you know that. I'm going to tell you the secret. A little vinegar. You going to tell them the secret, too? A little vinegar. A little vinegar? Nah, that's easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's buffalo sauce vinegar. Hey, he bullshit. Anyway. <laughs> Till next time. Remember to like, subscribe. There's never an empty tank in your stomach on this road. Like the video while you're at it. Subscribe. Turn on notifications and go out, support your local restaurant because this is what got me started. Places were shutting down. How can I keep them open? My camera, me telling you how good they are. Take care guys, stay safe. Thank you. I must say, House of Goats truly earned its name. Not only were the wings and egg rolls off the chain, but the drinks were good, the staff were friendly, the music was pumping, and the atmosphere was so inviting. You just wanted to chill in here forever and party the night away. Make sure you get in here to check this place out and make sure you tell them the Hungry Road sent you.